Hey guys, and welcome to another custom blueprint. This time it is chirp, cheap, dirty, wet escorts on Fiesta. Um, yeah, yeah, what, whatever. Uh, it is a dirt racing scramble B700, uh, all Ford escorts and Fiestas that are can go into B700. Autumn, sunset, heavy rain, two laps, 9.5 kilometers per lap, 19 kilometers total. Race time is, give or take, 4 minutes, 10 seconds per lap, 8 minutes, 20 seconds total. So, let's get on with it, shall we? And I have two choices, and, well, this is the fun one. The other one is the safe one. So, of course, we're going to be using the fun one. Uh, let's see, these are my settings. And the AI only have one thing in mind, apparently. So, this should be fun. Uh, let me show you the map here. Here you go. So we start here, go straight down, and then long bit of tarmac, and then all of this on gravel, and then mud here, and a bit of tarmac here, more mud, then back here, then more mud, and up to the finish line, and two laps. Oh yeah, and a top tip, because, uh, ahem. let me just, before I go any further, this track also contains uh, a feature, let's call it that, okay? Now watch the minimap down in the lower left corner. For some reason, most of the cars uh, driven by the AI go straight, and so will you do if you don't brake before uh, the drive line tells you to. And it gets very interesting on lap two if you don't get some distance between you and them. Now. Another fun thing, look at the way, look at the placement of the AI. I got one right behind me, then there's quite a bit down to the rest. By the time we get to here, before the finish line, they're all going to be lined up in a nice straight line. It's true. And get ready for a hard turn. At least they did that uh, thing with lining up there. They did that when I was testing this. I found it very funny. And of course, as usual, you have all the grip in the world. And they have next to nothing. And yet, they seem to be able to do the corners faster than you do, which makes, yeah, no sense. And a top tip, if you're driving with automatic gearbox and you can hear the engine dying, quick tap with the brakes and it'll downshift. always 
got to listen to your engine. It's the one thing that gives you speed and keeps you going. Listen to the RPMs. And have a basic knowledge of what's going on. Uh, in this case, it's a... I think it's the stock engine, if I remember correctly. That means it's a four-cylinder engine. That means it needs RPM. If it was a V8, it doesn't matter. V8 will deliver most of its torque between like two and three thousand RPM. Where anything like a V6 or a four-cylinder engine needs to get, yeah, its ass kicked. Whip it. It, it really needs some RPM, where an inline six is more torquey. And what did I tell you about that long line? It's funny how the fastest cars seem to be those in the rear. And the ones in the front slow down a little bit so they can catch up. And then they're together at last. Also, notice another fun thing here. See that little tap there? Uh, that's because, well, the track starts there, in theory. Right? So, when I made the track, I just went straight to the finish line. And I had to go back to to pick it up to get it to end. Now, what the AI is going to do is they're going to follow me. No problem. But on the last lap, you're going to see something very funny. Or technically, you're not going to see it. Sort of. Oh, they're actually bunched up now. Break here. So you don't do what the AI does. Now, when I did this, uh, when I was uh, doing a test run on this, even though they were doing that shit at the start line, they caught up to me. No problem. And see, they're missing that corner. No problem. They'll still catch up to me. At least they did in testing. It's really bizarre. Uh, I think I was driving the other Fiesta at the time. Maybe that makes a difference. In fact, it seems to do. Make quite a lot of difference. That's weird. Hmm. Oh well. The reason I, the only reason I'm using this one is because, well, it's been ages since I've driven this for the last time. It needed to be dusted off. Now listen to the engine dying. Oh, look at those three guys go. Meow. Ferrari mode on. Oh, they got caught again, almost instantly. Right. Hmm, seems like I'm gonna win, win by quite a margin. Oh, 
also this blueprint has a bonus round. Which I'll show you afterwards. Because the track is limited to B700. Uh, but what happens if you want to take an A800 escort out on this track? Well, you can do that. And I'll show you how in a moment. Watch this, uh, as the AI comes up to that, uh, just, you know, that little bit just before the uh, finish line, check out what happened. They start swapping places like mad. It's like a real fortune. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna be last? Oh my god excitement and of course they're all <laughs> they're gonna beat my time yes right uh no <laughs> this game is just so stupid sometimes it's ridiculous Ooh, it's gonna come out on top it's just ridiculous anyway now if you don't like b700 and God knows I am not a huge fan. Uh, make sure that you're offline and then go to Creative Hub and put in the uh, code for the blueprint 969740007. Enter, confirm, and start it. Now you have access to all of the cars. Neat, huh? And yeah, we can do it again. And I'll give you the tune codes afterwards. Same settings. And just remember, brake before the drive line tells you to. Especially in this monster. Get out of the way. Ah, damn it. fast and accelerating that is not top speed and it sounds like it's very angry at something and I can only agree I mean aren't we all at least a little bit angry at something <coughs> especially with the world going as it's going these days very hard not to be angry at something. This one is definitely angry at something. I like to think it's pure rage targeted at every Ford Focus ever made. And, uh, not least, every Ford Escort made after this one. 
because all of them, without exception, sucks. And they do. And I will not have an argument about that, because they do. This is, by far and away, the greatest escort ever made. That crossword engine, oh dear god, is a thing of beauty in real life. And this is, if I remember correctly, not the crossword engine. Because the crossword engine sucks in this in the game. In real life, it's probably one of the greatest machines ever invented. In this game, it's not. And trust me, I've worked on quite a few of those crossword engines, and they are beautiful. I would imagine uh, working on a crossword, uh, one of these old crossword engines is a bit like when a clockmaker gets a fine Swiss uh, clockwork in. Uh, it's just beautiful. And the sound. Oh my god, the sound. Oh. They actually made it around the corner, most of them, apparently. Maybe that AI thing is kicking in. Maybe they're actually learning how to drive. I don't know if you noticed that, but on the minimap, there's like a few of the AI that suddenly just got a nitrous boost while the rest was stopping. That looks really stupid. Oh god, this game needs a bug fix or two. Or a feature fix. But anyway, the trick I started uh, showed you at the beginning, where you could bring uh, any class car into uh, an event, uh, as long as you're offline, or into a blueprint event, as long as you're offline, or, well, not offline, offline, just offline. Just like you have to be online, online, for certain things in this game. Um, that works on any blueprint. Um, but it doesn't allow you to say there's an, I don't know, A800 Lamborghini event. Doesn't allow you to bring an S1 Ferrari into that event. But you do get to bring any Lamborghini you want.
Whoops. Damn it, I missed the last checkpoint. Let's try that again, shall we? So let's see if any of them will be my lap time this time. Doom, doom, doom. Waiting, waiting. No. Well, damn. Oh my god, I was... I was actually faster than the AI. Dee, 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 dee. Come on. Get to the finish. What? I wasn't faster than the AI. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and the rest? Nope. They couldn't be bothered finishing, apparently. They went on a picnic. Oh well. Ah. Uh, oh. So let's start with the tune for this one. Uh, and by this one, I of course mean the 1973 Ford Escort RS1600, which is just poetry in motion. And the tune for that, oh god. is this one there you go and then it was the fiesta and let me just find that where is it fiesta one other And this one was, of course, the 1981 Ford Fiesta XR2. And the tune for that... ...was this one. There you go. And remember, if you use one of my tunes or one of my blueprints, please remember to like them. The same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And also... Please uh, use the Patreon link below if you can. Uh, it really means a lot to me, and God knows I could help, but uh, I could use it. So, yeah, please use it if you can. And of course, as you know, Patreons get early access to my preview videos. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, should you for some reason not. Uh, want to use the Patreon link uh, because you think Patreons are morons or whatever uh, you can use my PayPal account just yeah, send me an email at wasnews uh, at gmail.com and we'll work something out if that's the case anyway that's it thanks for watching bye